uh, for those of you guys that want to try something interesting in your garden, I recommend this plant right here. I believe the uh, uh, zone rating for this one is uh, 8B, and we are on the high side. My garden's in the high side of zone 8B slash 9. The mildest areas in our island are zone 9A. This is a Edgeworthia chrysanthema, and uh, it's a very interesting uh, plant native to Asia, China. And uh, it's uh, got this has a lot of buds on it right now. It's a two gallon size. I actually dug this out of Wendy's garden, and we're going to plant it in my garden. And uh, this one here is full of flower buds, and it flowers before the uh, foliage comes out. Flowers are very fragrant and super exotic looking. And uh, I planted one of these many years ago in a subtropical garden I did probably just about 20 years ago at a nursery I used to work at, and it grew into a fair size uh, plant. Unfortunately, they. Uh, hired somebody after I left and he cut it down. So uh, foolproof in this climate here on Salt Spring Island on the southwest coast of Canada in the southern Gulf Islands and uh, in many other Zone 8B locations this is definitely worth a try if you can find it at your nursery. Remember that it's Edgeworthy, Edgeworthia chrysanthemum. Actually here's the label in this one and uh, goes five feet tall or more, a little bit more. Fragrant crayon orange flowers in uh, early spring and uh, and the leaves are cool too. So anyway, it's a really nice one to try even on your sun deck. If you've got a sun deck, you can grow this in a pot. Or uh, I'm going to be putting this one in the garden. Though I'm probably going to have to protect it from the deer because we do have a lot of deer here on Salt Spring Island. And uh, they will make mincemeat out of this. So anyway, as you can see behind me, the tree ferns doing okay too. This is the Dixonia Antarctica, the uh, Trachycarpus fortuni growing in here. There's lots of them growing on the base of it. And uh, Brahia armata. Anyway, I'll grab the camera and I'll uh, show you the edge worthy. A little bit closer look at it. And I will also show you. Uh, I will also show you the uh, cosiers coming out of this uh, Tasmanian tree fern of mine. This one I planted two decades ago, and uh, it's in an alcove. Stays green here year round. And I have two more on the front side of the garden on the north east side of the house. So it's a beautiful spring day out here on Salt Spring Island. So there's the Edgeworthia chrysanthema, and you can see the, the buds coming here. Flower buds. Isn't that nice? Very exotic. There's the Brahia armada, and uh, we'll take a closer look at the uh, at the tree fern here. The net is up here to keep the stupid cats out because they they like to scratch up at the garden, use it as a litter box, and of course on the fern. So there's the kojus coming out there. Let me climb up here. Yeah, isn't that nice? Puts out about two dozen each spring. You can see them just unfurling in there, just popping out the top of the crown. It's got a pretty good sized trunk, about 58 inches of trunk on it. And uh, these are all trachycarpus growing around here. I've just thrown seed around over the years. Passion vine over there. This is a uh, uh, Camadoria radicalis, and there's Aspidistra in here, Elatia. So this is a foolproof palm too, the uh, Camadoria radicalis. I planted that there about 16 years ago. And lots of Aspidistra. You can buy those things at Walmart, cheap as a house plant, and they're fully, fully hardy here. So. Anyway, that's the way it goes here, folks, on Salt Spring Island in the garden today. More trachycarpus around the base of this uh, this uh, Datura here, Brugmansia. Let's throw some seed in there, and away it grows. Hey, kitty, what do you say? Everything's doing good. The native dogwood's coming into bloom, too. You can see that. Lots of flower buds on this. This is just off my lower sun deck here. Bamboo forest down there. It's a great day. Great day for gardening here on Salt Spring Island.